Today I messed up by giving my colleague a nervous breakdown by predicting the future. Happened two weeks ago and concluded this morning me and my colleagues have a good morning call Mondays where we just have a chat about the weekend, talk about the football, rugby and interesting things we have done. All chat and banter going well when we start to talk about kids. Couple of my colleagues have twins, one has grown up twins, I think 23 and one, let's call him James, just had twins in November last year, and they were discussing the common tropes of having them and how to help out each other. I jokingly said to James that if his wife gets pregnant again there is a chance of twins or even triplets. Laughing I said just imagine having five kids under two in your house when James laughed nervously and we carried on with our conversation about other things. Roll on Tuesday and I was scheduled to have a call with James and he wasn't answering his phone. Within 30 minutes his boss called me and told me that James will be off for a bit while dealing with some family issues. Cue today when we have our good morning call and James is back on the call. We all ask if he is okay and he replies yes but I have some news. Confused we asked if he wanted to expand on it. A month ago his wife found out she was pregnant again, two weeks ago on the Tuesday morning was her 12-week scan. It apparently never crossed James' mind he could have twins again and went into panic mode after I joked about it on our good morning call. The scan came and it turned out he was having triplets. James went into a panic spiral as you would. He took some time off to get his head around it and then luckily had a week off for holiday to spend with his wife to talk about everything. He is so happy right now but, rightly so, his initial reaction was to panic thinking about have five kids in the house. We are all chipping for him for a three-seat buggy and so he can buy some baby clothes as he only has baby clothes for two children and will need another set for number three. Too long. Didn't read. I joked on a call my colleague could have triplets. Next day colleague's wife found out she was having triplets and my colleague went into a panic spiral as he already has nearly one-year-old twins. Edit, added more detail into too long. Didn't read. Update so nearly a year has passed since I posted this and a little update for those who are interested. James triplets were born couple months ago. Mum had to have them earlier than planned but after a short time in the neonatal care and they are all out happy and healthy. Myself and James before the incident were friendly but not close and as I felt bad for what I did I started a fund to get him baby clothes and a three-chair buggy for the kids and then offered to help with building furniture etc. Turns out James only lives a 30-minute drive from me so after the incident I went around with the clothes and buggy to a very grateful James and wife. We started up a really good friendship and have seen a lot of each other since the incident. We have been to football games together. He plays guitar as well as me so a couple of jam sessions. Both James and his wife have been to my house for dinner multiple times and our wives have been out together too. We seem to have a lot in common and our wives are now really good friends so much so we both have been asked to be godparents to their triplets. They had two boys and one girl so four boys and one girl total. It's a really happy time for us all, especially them and have already been given dates when we will babysit the older twins, the oldest two boys love my wife and our dog and cry when they leave out house, the triplets will be with grandparents which is understandable, to give them some much needed time off from five kids. Today I messed up by paying $75 for my gyno to tell me that my husband has a big penis. So this actually happened yesterday. I kept getting this puffy tender spot between my P and B after having sex. I, of course, went down a Google rabbit hole. Herpes? A cyst? Hemorrhoid? It wasn't a pustule or clustered so I was pretty sure it wasn't any of those things. It would start to shrink a little, then grow after particularly excessive days of intercourse. Just to be safe, I made an appointment with my gyno. She goes through all the basic questions before starting her poking and prodding. Eventually she stops, looks up at me and asks how often I am having intercourse. She raises her eyebrows when I say at least once a day, hey, we are enjoying the early stages of marriage. Then she asks if we engage in rough sex and again I say yes. Last, she tells me this can happen from engaging in rougher sex with a man who is eyebrow wag well endowed. My insurance had recently changed and I have been seeing her for a while, but she was now out of network. They chose not to tell me that over the phone before my appointment, but whatever. I had to pay out of pocket for the exam, and that my friends is how I paid $75 for my lady doctor to tell me that my husband is hung. I already knew that. Too long. Didn't read. 
My husband has a big PP and it was inflaming the bottom of my vag bag which made me think I had something wrong down there. Today I messed up by trying to play the best friend role. I have been separated from my wife for almost two years and have been doing well off. Yesterday, 10 hours ago, I made a huge blunder. I work in a production factory. I will openly admit I am not the sharpest tool in the shed. Even so, I try to be friends with everyone because truth be told I'm lonely. So, I laugh and joke with everyone. I have these thoughts that I am just the class clown of my job and right now that's fine with me. I have been invited to three different weddings, courthouse, and random events that I personally don't think that while married I would have ever been invited to. The today I messed up occurred just last night, 7 p.m., it's Friday and me and some co-workers decide to hang out and drink after work at Jerry's apartment. He is a really cheerful fun guy. Well, I am one of the first to leave. I get a call two or so hours later telling me I forgot my alcohol it was a biob. I eventually go over to get it. But. Every time I tried to say see you later and leave he would ask me all sort of questions. Not one to be rude I smiled and talked before trying to leave. Suddenly and I do mean suddenly he was on his knees and my basketball shorts were down and he was attempting to do the deed. That night was my first homosexual encounter. It wasn't bad though I am not sure if I would ever do it again. At 4 a.m., current time of writing this is 6 a.m., my phone is blowing up. Jerry decided to call all my co-workers from that night and some that wasn't even there that he knew I was gay and in the closet. That the reason I never spoke about separation was because my wife caught me with a man. My heart is pounding and I don't know what to do. I don't want to seem like a homophobe but I am just not into guys. This just hurts. Too long. Didn't read. Went to hang out with friends from work, had sex with another male even though I'm heterosexual and now my phone won't stop buzzing.